guys i'm back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company nadula hair and before i jump into all of the details please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos this is their seven by five kinky straight bye bye knots wig this one is in the length 24 inches and it is also 180 percent in density now as far as cap construction goes you don't get any combs on the side but you do get an area for the removable elastic band you also get a comb in the back and adjustable straps taking some of my tin spray and i'm just going to spray a light coat at the very front of the lace and then i'm going to use my blow dryer to dry everything down this is just going to help everything blend better into my skin now this unit does come with a pre-pluck hairline it also comes with pre-bleached knots but i always notice that at the very front it just comes off a little bit too light and so i don't have to go in with a bunch of powder or foundation the tin spray just works better for me a bobby pin on each side for extra security even though when i tighten up the straps i do feel like it fit me better in the back area and then i'm going to take my scissors and just lightly trim off some of that excess lace if you want to keep the excess lace on you definitely can but i choose not to and then i also want to show you guys what this parting space looks like and it already comes as a middle part but as you can see you definitely have the versatility to move your parting space to another side if you choose to and look how everything is looking already and i haven't even done anything now i am going to keep this part as a middle part but i am going to go ahead and elongate it i'm also going to go in with my nairobi foam i ran out of my olive oil foam so i had to bring my good stuff out this is what i be using for my short hair so i was like man i gotta get some more but i'm placing that at the top of the hair just to get everything to lay down and then i'm going to place this at the front of the hairline so i can get that melted effect just kind of combing everything back making sure everything is nice and flat and then when i'm done i'm going to place my elastic band around the front area so that everything could blend in while i'm working on styling the rest of the hair Use my blow dryer to dry down the top of this unit. Now I like to use mousse at the top, just depending on the texture and also depending on the sheen on it. I don't wanna go in with too much wax cause I don't want the hair to come off super shiny at the top. And then the rest of the hair looks really natural. So this definitely helps me out. And I don't have to go in and use a bunch of heat as far as a hot comb goes, but this laid down really flat already. So you definitely aren't gonna have any issues with any type of humps because there's not a lot of density in the lace area. To section this hair off so I can straighten it out. And y'all, this hair straightens so beautifully. It straightens so nice. This hair is already soft straight out of the package. I did have to do like two passes um, in certain areas, but I didn't want to take too much texture away. I do have my flat iron turned up to like 400 degrees and I feel like it did a good job. Of course, I could have turned it up even more, but I just didn't feel like it was needed. What one side of the unit is looking like after being straightened out i am going to straighten out the rest off of camera that way i can kind of speed up the process i don't want to bore you guys and then i'm just going to take my hot comb and lightly go over the top now i did this more so for the flyaway so that they can lay down a little bit better and then i'm just going to tie the hair back and then i'm going to go ahead and remove the elastic band so we can see what the front of this hairline is looking like 
Just going to comb some of that hair back because it was swooped over a little bit from the way that the hair was laying when I placed the elastic band on. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of wax only in the front area. And then I'm gonna use my edge brush just to kind of smooth everything back without going in with any more heat. I'm also gonna go in with a very light amount of powder in between the lace. That way it can blend in a little bit better and look more like scalp. I went in with some powder in the parting space, but honestly, you can't even tell the difference because the parting space was already giving off scalp. But I am going to make sure to go in with my Sleek and Shine Serum because this hair is so full. I definitely wanna make sure that it is tame and that it does stay sleek and this helps control any frizziness and flyaways. is the final look and y'all this came out so nice i am loving this hair i'm gonna make sure to leave a link for the yakky texture that i just did and i'm sorry this kiki straight is definitely winning over the yakky in my opinion i just feel like the hair looks way more softer it feels softer and also i feel like it's a bit more manageable because it didn't come off too dry this is what it looks like when i turn around now this unit does start at 14 inches and 24 inches is the longest length i think that this is a great density because you're not seeing any tracks and also it's going to make a really good ponytail they did a really good job with plucking out the hairline all i had to do was trim off a very small amount of lace and just look how good that sits on my skin like i'm not mad at this at all i'm also going to do a second quick style if you want to kind of do like a playful style maybe like a half up half down this didn't take me long at all you shouldn't have any issues with restyling this unit if you wanted to move your parting space around because the density is so nice in the lace area another thing that i noticed with this unit for my small head girls the yakky texture unit did not have any elastic in the back the adjustable straps is what i'm trying to say it didn't have any adjustable straps in the back but this one did and it fit me better y'all it fit me way better i am going to be using a little bit of my olive oil adhesive spray i'm just going to spray a little bit on the end of my rat tail comb and i'm just going to lightly place that at the very front of the hairline underneath the lace and that way i don't have to worry about the lace rolling up because with me pulling at the hair with the rubber bands i just noticed it rolling up a little bit on one side and i still want that melted look but this is what it looks like after i am done super easy really quick didn't take me long at all now, I did receive some shedding during the styling process and also after styling. Now, as far as snags go, I received a little bit towards the ends of the hair, but I also made sure to do a few passes with the flat iron and I also made sure to put a little bit of extra serum. What you guys think about this one? If you are feeling this, I am gonna make sure to leave a link down below in the description area. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.